Well, good day, folks. I've been busy working on the uh, project again, and uh, my workshop is now beginning to look a bit like a cocaine lab with these files, which are all white. I've been filing holes in the cabinet for the past of the bank, but I've got a unit made up now, and um, it's uh, now at the stage where I have to put the relay board in. It obviously doesn't have any back connectors on it at the moment, but this entire box will house. It houses the electronics, it'll house the battery, it'll house the charger, basically everything for the bank goes in there, and then you just run a long while up to the capacitor bank, to the voltage divider and the uh, SCR. But I'll power it up. Not the world's neatest hole, but it wouldn't be a homemade project if it wasn't a super duper neat hole. And there it is, it's sitting there, I've got my voltage adjust here, I can set anywhere from 7 to 500 volts just by turning the pot down here. And if I press the charging button, which is the leftmost one, that would normally energise the relay, but it's not connected. Same with the discharge button. Oh, it thinks it's firing. I did I press the firing button, did I? Yes. Need to move that display up a bit. It's only double-sided tape. I'm testing at the moment. Discharge button has no effect because there's no charge in it. Charge button has no effect because it's not connected. Mm. Anyway. Now the switch is a multi-position switch. I haven't wired it in yet, but that will be for reforming mode. Off and capacitor bank mode. There, you can go anywhere for, all the way up to 500 volts by turning the knob and hit the charging button. So yeah, progress has been made and that's just the rear of it there. So you've got the three push buttons, LCD, a little bit lopsided, the um, potentiometer and uh, the little switch that isn't even wired in. So anyway, I'll uh, continue working on this thing, and uh, there's the Arduino glowing down in the bottom there. 12 volt red beside it. Oh, well, no, 12 volt red's down here. That's for turning it down to 5 volts for the Arduino. But yeah, there's not much else to do now. Just wire the relays, put some sockets on the back, connect up to one of my choice of um, SCRs over here, either the brick or the uh, puck, and we're all set to start making some noise with this thing. <laughs> 